Before 17 year old Sydney Hedges died of brain cancer, she said she wanted to form a nonprofit and help people. Now, the Coal Strip teenager's legacy lives on six years after her death with Sid's Wish, a nonprofit that's helped nearly 50 families across the region. Find the good in each day. That's something Coal Strip teenager Sydney Hedges would say, even as a kid diagnosed with cancer. It's been six years, and I mean, I'm still emotional and crying talking about her because she was so special to all of us. Kinsley Todd and Sydney Craig were there when Sid was just 11 and started showing symptoms of a stroke. They life flighted her to Billings, found a tumor. Um, I, <laughs> it's really emotional. It was the first night I ever prayed. Um, that she would be okay. Sid was diagnosed with a form of brain cancer called geoblastoma. Though she went into remission twice, she eventually succumbed to the cancer at just 17. Her mom, Angie, found a list of things that she wanted to, to do in her room. And well, the biggest thing on there was to start a nonprofit to continue helping people. And that's exactly what Angie did. She formed Sid's Wish in 2018, and the nonprofit has helped families with children and young adults facing medical challenges ever since. Hey, Maddie, Sid is our guardian angel, huh? We never knew Sid. We never met Sid, but we feel like we know her through everybody at Sid's Wish. The webs are just one of 47 families Sid's Wish has supported. He's bulldog. Five-year-old Maddie Webb was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia when he was just three. It has been a very rough journey. The Webbs live in Belfry and have been commuting between Denver and Billings for hospital visits. And between gas, food, and medical costs, it's expensive. Things got really tight. And right after we came back from Denver, so our bank was pretty done. well drained. <laughs> Tara was surprised when she received a Facebook message from a friend of a friend. It was Sid's mom, Angie, offering any help Sid's wish could give. And she got a hold of us, and we had a check in just a couple days later, and we were able to pay pay our bills in advance. A check came not once, but twice. One organization finding the good in each day and saving lives along the way. He knows Sid's his angel that watches him from heaven. He knows he's protected. That she protects him and that everything's going to be okay. In Billings, Alina Howder, MTN News.